Welcome back. We learned how to output data and we learned what props are. Both very important concepts, of course. Now with that, we're ready to take the next step and learn what events are, or you probably know what events are, but how to use events in our React.js application. So I'll go back to this home component and in here, I'm actually going to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of children and user, going to get rid of all of that stuff here, just leave the other props name and age here. And I'm also going to getting rid of the text here. Therefore, of course, in the index.js file, I'm getting rid of my, um, of the, well, content between the opening and closing tag as well as the opening and closing tag as well, getting rid of the user object and deleting the user object here too, just to clean this up a little bit. So that should still work and looks a bit leaner now. Next, in my home component, I want to create a button. So I will create a horizontal line and below that I'll add a button on which I want to say, make me older. Now I already do have my age here and I want to be able to increase that age, right? So here I want to do something whenever I click this button. Well, first I'll add some bootstrap classes here with class name, button primary, and then well, it would be nice if we had some method we could execute whenever this button gets clicked. So I will create such a method and I will call it on make older. So on make older should get executed whenever this button gets called. And then I want to increase my age. But how get I access to my age in the first place? It's in the properties here, right? Well, it would be a nice idea to save the age in a property of this class. So not in this props property we're getting passed from outside, but remember we're using classes here. We can create properties therefore. So I'll create a constructor function. Again, that's all ES6 stuff. If that is all new to you, definitely check out some ES6 tutorials. And here, first thing of course I have to do is call super to execute the parent constructor since I'm inheriting from react.component. And thereafter, I'm creating a new property named age with this dot age. And I set this equal to, well, in the constructor, we actually get the props passed into it. So here I can then access props dot age. So this is the age I get passed into this component from outside. And this is my property I create inside of the home component. Now I have access to this age. And then I can make myself older. Let's say we add three years to the age when I click this button. With that, I of course can also change my output here. Here, I can then output this dot age, right? Like so, your age is this dot age. Now, if we save this, we see 27 still. The button won't work because we haven't hooked it up yet. But we see that the extraction of the properties and the saving in our own property works fine. So I'm saving it in this age and I'm outputting this age in my, well, HTML code here in my template, so to say. The last step is to hook up this button and I can add a click listener by adding on click. Now that just is how you add events in React.js. You have the event name, and then just the on at the beginning. So it's like the, well, default HTML or excuse me, default JavaScript event handlers on click. And then here you specify what you wanna do upon a click. Well, of course I want to execute on make older, but if I were to write it like this, that would be wrong. I need to delete the parentheses. Otherwise I will execute it immediately. Because again, keep in mind, this is JavaScript code here. If I do this, I execute it, but I just want to place a reference to the function, function which should get executed whenever I click on it. Therefore, I remove the parentheses. Now it's not getting executed instantly. Instead, the button now knows, so to say, what to do if we click on it, then it will execute it. 
However, that won't work as you will see. If I save this and click on make me older, nothing happens. And in the console we see cannot read property age of null whenever I click this. Well, why do we get this error? What's going wrong here? Do you know what's happening here? Well, good job if you figured it out. The issue is that we're binding it here or we're setting the on click listener here. This on make older will get executed. Now have a look at on make older. There we're accessing this.h. And what's the issue with the this keyword in JavaScript? It's always referring to whatever executes a function. It's not referring to my home class, not to the object here. It's referring to what is executing this method. And here the button is executing this method. Therefore, in order to make sure that this refers to the home object, to the home class, I have to bind this. So I add bind and then this. This makes sure that we're actually using this in the class context here. By the way, another possible syntax, remember this one here, would have been to use an ES6 arrow function. So to do this, say execute this function here and then here we would just return this dot on make older without parentheses, uh, with parentheses here. So we would execute, that's a function here, keep in mind there, that, that is just how a ES6 arrow function looks. So this function would get executed immediately and it would return this on make older, this function call, which would then also use this age. So if I save this and now click on it, we still see nothing happening. But if we reload, we see we don't get an error. So maybe we see something if I log the current age to the console to trace down what's going wrong. So let's save this and click on it. Well, as you can see on the right, the age is getting incremented correctly. It's increasing but it's not updated here. And that is because the state of the application hasn't changed and React.js will only re-render if the state has changed. Now, what is this state and how do we tell React.js that the state changed? That's something we're going to have a look at in the next video.